Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Wilds, our national park where we are currently watching as Maddie, one of our wonderful wolves from the Pine Pack, is actually dispersing into her own territory now that her brother Lunar has taken over the family's zone. And I have a lot of new exciting things I want to show you guys because heck, we have expanded the national park so much. But first, Maddie, come on in. Thank you, Bonsai Artist Alexandria. And yay, she's here, you guys! And Maddie has made it to her new home! Ta-da! This is her brand new zone. This is where she's going to be staying. It's going to be Maddie, or we're gonna call this the Meadow Pack. And we will expand it to have a lot of beautiful meadows. We'll have a lot of wildflowers. I actually want to have like a cascade of wildflowers and a tiny little waterfall down here. Um, but I want people to like be able to come walk down and see what's going on. And like walk amongst the wildflowers here. So maybe no waterfall, but definitely a bunch of wildflowers. Uh, and this is where Maddie is going to make her new home now that her brother Lunar, who ended up having puppies with their mom. That was not planned. Not ideal, I know. But now that uh, Lunar has puppies to watch after and he decided to challenge and win the battle against their sister Moon for the territory, uh, Maddie, who is the weaker of those two siblings, ended up getting chased out. So she is actually going to be making her home over here. And let's try to add in some toys for her so that she can make the most of her new home. Um, I'm gonna put a chew toy down and then I need to put down something for her to be able to get a drink So let's put in a nice spot to get some water and Then we'll put in a food area for her soon. And I'm gonna put in a bunch of nice bedding back here Where she can come and rest if she wants to there you go, Maddie. You can get out of the rain under here. I might need to expand this cave a little bit so that she actually can get out of the rain. But there we go. Okay, is it, do you need anything else, Maddie? She's just a little lonely right now. She could use some more toys. So she has a whole new world to explore over here. We'll put down a prey scented sack right over here too. There we go. And she's a little lonely. So our park rangers have actually been keeping an eye on her and they want to try to give her a, maybe another rescue wolf basically, uh, who we might give them both contraceptives. I'm still on the fence about that. Got to figure out like if we're going to let her breed or not. She's not super healthy. So I think this is actually going to be more of a rescue wolf area. And then in the future, one of her nieces and nephews might end up moving in here. Oh, Arya, you're actually dead. Sorry about that. You you can't you can't be breeding. Out you go. Um, but one of her nieces and nephews might disperse over here, one of her half-siblings might disperse over here, uh, another wolf might come on in, but because she isn't gold level, I think we might go ahead and we'll keep her on contraceptives. Uh, that's, that's gonna be what I, our current goal. But alright, let me go ahead and show you guys how we have expanded, and we have a new area! Look at this! This is gonna be where we're gonna have dull sheep! I am so excited about the dull sheep. Uh, I made a little walk zone so people can come and walk under these bridges and be quote unquote inside the doll sheep area and meanwhile the doll sheep will be able to frolic over the tops of these bridges hopefully to get to both sides and have a larger zone I think this is gonna be so cute and then people can have like a little picnic with the sheep which is adorable so we're gonna have to see if that actually works out the way I want it to to have our little like half tamed group of doll sheep in here but we need to hurry and actually add in these doll sheep who are indeed a North American and North American animal and we need to do that because friends <laughs> We are still working on, I know it's it's been a while, but we're still working on the Northern Song Challenge. I really want to try to get to 50 babies just to see if we can. There was another gold reward of more conservation credits, so I, I'm holding out hope that maybe there's a hat further up. I doubt there is. 
But now I'm really attached to the idea of celebrating our wonderful wild wolf area by getting to 50 babies before the end of the challenge and building ourselves a Aurora Borealis in zoo crafting to celebrate. So that's my goal. If we manage to get there and be like smashing this gold goal out of the blue, I don't know yet. We'll have to see. All right. We just need to keep an eye on... We, we've actually made it to the top ranking, which I've only done like once before, so that's pretty cool. But we're going to keep an eye on how many more babies we have born. Hopefully many. The time is ticking. All right. And let's go ahead and remove timber wolves. Well, actually... Let's let's find ourselves a nice timber wolf real quick. Uh, I want to see. Here's Swindle. He has good timber wolf energy, and he's not very fertile, and his immunity is not the best. So, what about Wakefield? Let's go ahead. We'll get Swindle from Zootopia, and we're gonna have him come in and he will be our rescue wolf that we will have brought in to uh, be partners with Maddie so that she's not alone. There we go. Meanwhile, Moon did not find a new home. So we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna try trading her one last time. Let's go for, uh, let's just, we'll see. And if she still doesn't find a new home, we'll, we'll just release her into the wild. Uh, all right, but let's look for dull sheep. No timber wolves, please. Now let's get some sheep in here for the meadow pack to be able to hunt because I'm kind of desperate. All right, who's a really healthy, strong sheep? Let's get let's get this guy. I like him. He's from Paradise Inc. Uh, invalid destination. Why? Hang on, friends. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. I elaborately built this. So that we could have invalid, fix incomplete. Oh, I know what happened. Do not be alarmed, friends. I know what's going on. Okay, I actually need to connect up. Okay, I know, I know what I did wrong. Okay, hang on, hang on. All right, uh, oh, tricky. So what I did was I tried to make a really fancy barrier around here. I need to come down here and I need to note that this is not part of the habitat perimeter. And neither is this loop. There we go. And we're gonna come over here, which is part of the habitat perimeter. There we go. No, no, no. And I'm going to have a little null collection connection there and there and now the habitat should be completed hopefully all right and yet no dull sheep will be able to escape let me double check habitat five yay this is going to be the sheep picnic zone and it's just some half wild dull sheep that have settled in to our area. Where's my sheep sheep? All right, doll sheep, doll sheep. And we'll start with the male. And then you can have a lot of the females. Uh, you can have like 39 females if we wanted. Uh, but let's just get a few healthy ones. Like let's have Benu here. This animal's approaching old age. We don't want that one. We could get Embrace. Let's get like, eh, maybe not that one. There's a bunch from Turtle Cove. I need to be careful because they're all going to be related to each other. Except the ones from Frontier will not be related to each other. All right, let's do our best. We have a whole bunch of doll sheep coming on in now, friends. <laughs> and we're just gonna see if we're going to be able to uh, have some healthy ones. And if we don't, keep in mind, that's what the wolves are partially for. All right, we're definitely gonna need to hire more keepers and start working on how to handle all of the visitors as well. Because I'm pretty worried about making sure that everybody's fed. We don't even have a toilet yet. Like not a single toilet, I'm telling you guys. Did I just take out? Oh, Moon just got adopted, I think. Wow. 
Yeah, is everybody gonna be in here? What on earth? <laughs> no! My carefully planned exhibit! Is everybody literally fleeing because of the dull sheep? It's fine! It's fine! You people are ruining this extremely carefully built exhibit. Are you really running from a dull sheep? Is this really like the most terrifying thing you have ever seen? Are you kidding me? They can physically walk over a lot of the other exhibits. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, you're kidding me! They're scared of my sheep? They're so scared. This was so meticulously built. Do you see the love and care that I put into this? Oh my gosh. I can walk these people over tiger exhibits. Okay. All right. All right. How am I going to fix this? How am I going to fix this? I mean, they haven't escaped over there. All right. What if I make this part of the habitat? Like, now this is part of the habitat perimeter. What if I transform this into part of the habitat perimeter? How we doing? I can't believe this This has just happened. So here's here's the whole habitat. I need to edit the barrier for the habitat. There we go. Can I say that this is now part of it? What about if I remove this? And then it, it'll be like, oh, I'm not complete again. But what if, what if I have two habitats that the sheep can be in? All right, we're going to try this, friends. This is going to get a little wild. Hang in there. I don't know what to expect. Um, curse you, people! I can't believe you did this to me! This was perfectly built. Do you see the glorious, glorious, gloriousness that I created? Now you all ruin it. Heck. All right. Well, let's try to fix this because everyone's terrified of my sheep. Like, to the point of being ridiculous about it. Fixed but not marked as a habitat boundary. We're going to fix that. And let's grab this. Whole thing. This is all now habitat perimeter. We good? Do we have a sheep zone? We have a sheep picnic area! Yay! Sheep picnic zone one. Now people should be able to walk by and not, like, look at them. Look at them flee in terror from my terrifying rams. Like, what? Uh, Alright, let's see if the rams can actually, can they, they have escaped. It has literally walked through my, what, is that why? <sighs> Come back, please. I understand that I, I apparently didn't put down a big enough rock over here. Um, this is this is really funny. This is really funny. Like, I can manage wolves, but some some for some reason I just cannot manage having a big old sheep. All right, let's put down a rock. I mean, I thought the tree would block it, but I think I needed something a little more substantial. <laughs> All right, let's put that one down there. Let's make this a tall one because these guys can indeed climb. That's kind of what they do. They climb on mountains. Let's put that one there. Let's go ahead, emergency capture. All right, we're going to put you back, friend. And now I wonder, now people are all coming in and they're pretty happy about this. Can I make doll sheep area number two? So is this now going to be multiple habitat gates? Um, don't worry about that. I'm going to fix it. All right. What if I come in, remove this and connect this right here. Okay. Is this incomplete now? Okay. We're going to edit the barrier. I think we're gonna be able to do this, friends. I'm gonna make this happen. People will have like two brief moments of sheer screaming panic while they have to put up with the idea of the sheep like crossing the bridge. 
But you need to live on the edge a little bit, right? You need to live on the wild side. So let's try this out. I can't believe this whole day. We're not working on babies like I wanted. We're working on silly people. There we go. All right. Let's see how that works. <laughs> so now I think we have um, sheep pasture two and we have sheep pasture one. We have Tyler getting moved in just a second back in here. Uh, and we need to make sure that these doll sheep, who are going to be a new source of enrichment and also food, uh, actually have a place to go. So let me get some water down here. Can people see them okay? Can you see them okay? The milkshake looks busy. Viewing sheep picnic zone. Wow. All right, I think that's good news. Let's try it. Let's can I lower this barrier just a little bit more? I don't think the sheep are really going to jump out. So that gives these people look at that. They're looking straight at the sheep. I love it. I love it. I don't know why this is this the face that inspires screaming panic in all of you. Because <laughs> it's not the face that inspires screaming panic in me. But let's see how this works out. So yay, look at that. Okay, it's great until Embrace stops moving. And then she's on the other side. Really? And then she's still gonna count as escaped even though she's in this exhibit? Uh, I really wanted this to work. I really, 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 really wanted this to work. You people! I wonder if I make it go up instead, if that would be okay? Like, people can come in to exhibits all the time if they're, if they're like, on a bridge. My plans have been foiled, friends, but I hope that- look at her, look at her. Embrace is like, live! Live the dream! I'm free! <laughs> but this is such a cute exhibit! Ah! Rah! That's what I have to say to that. Ah. Okay, so what to do? Well, we could keep one bridge. All right, that's what we're gonna do, friends. As much as I love the walk around area, as much as I freaking love that we can just have this cute little spot down here, we're gonna we're gonna close it off. We're gonna close this off. We're gonna try this. All right, all right, all right. Destroy my hopes and dreams. I see how you are. We'll close this part off. Uh, let me see if I can figure out. If I make it so people can, the, the doll sheep can just walk across right there. And people can walk up to the edge over here. Okay. This is not, ideally not how I wanted to spend our time together, friends, but at times we must all make sacrifices. All right, so there's that. So what we're gonna do is we are now going to reconnect this area. Reconnect that zone or we'll reconnect it on this side. So it's like, oh, this is all part of my Yes, like this. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna convince this silly, silly thing that actually all of its barrier, starting from here over, and then going across. No, 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 don't you dare. Put it back, oh my gosh. Okay, hang on. We've got this. We've got this. I want to show you guys how to do this because uh, I actually got a really sweet message from a man who explained how when I walk through the problems like this, it really helps his son, who loves playing Planet Zoo, figure out what to do because they just couldn't figure it out. They were like Googling everything. They were trying to get to the bottom of like some of these problems and they couldn't quite figure it out. This is all going to be habitat perimeter now, but not this! Ha ha! All right. How are we doing? Are we still escaped? Why are we still escaped? 
Dull sheep, three alerts. Okay, hang on. We're still escaped, even though this is so cute. I want them to be on the little bridge. Can we not have these sections? Do I need to like remove this section somehow? Edit barrier. Can I have all of this be this? Cause this is part of the barrier, right? Okay. Huh. Ha 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 ha. And then to loop across here. Nope, 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 nope. Hmm. All right. We're gonna try again really quickly. We're gonna make all of this part of the barrier. And all of this part of it. And if I need to, how can I include like a null habitat over here and here would make that work? I think. Maybe it just doesn't like having... Okay. And how big do you think you are now? Habitat... Ah! <laughs> around and around we go, friends. Around and around we go. But we're learning some very important things about how to make this work. So all of this, all of this, that's all going to be habitat perimeter. And now, what say you, fancy gate? The gate still thinks curses! One second. Finally! There, I fixed it! I couldn't have my cute little mini thing anymore! Mm, but that's okay. There we go, friends. This should stop screaming at us now. Important alert. Dangerous animal at large. I guess we're just gonna have to pay some quick monies for, like, that chaos really quickly. Cancel move. You're already where you belong, my dear. Like, you, you can just live here now. Cancel move. Y'all are, y'all are comfortable. Why have you escaped again? Why have they escaped? This is all part of the barrier. This is all, they're in their habitat. No, she's not in her habitat. All right, all right, all right. Now I got her. Okay. I think we're okay now. Let's see how people react. Can they come in and, and not panic? What chaos was that? Why did I have to live through that? That was, what even? And you know what? You know what goats? No, I want my billy goat bridge. Y'all are gonna, y'all are gonna have like, down, 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 down. Congratulations, friends. You're gonna have a little, a little, <clears throat> obstructed my foot. Y'all are gonna get a little like water spot, whether you want it or not. And that's gonna be under the bridge and you're gonna need to use the bridge to go places. <laughs> but all right guys, thank you so much for joining me on this ridiculous chaos. Swindle, no, now our wolves are escaping. Now they're not, oh my gosh. It has been such a chaotic day. Holy heck. All right. But at least the sheep are here. At least the sheep are here. So, Swindle. Swindle, you really did escape. All right. We we have some things to work on. We have a few bits to our brand new uh, fancy pantsy area that I'm definitely going to need to search out for escape routes. However, I'm very happy to report that I think we had a few births amongst all of that chaos and we're now up to 41. Yes, thank you, Proghorns, for keeping us going despite the chaos. And we're very close to getting to 50, um, 50 born. Wonderful. Also, chaos is calming down over here. What on earth was that all about? But all right, friends, thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please leave a like for surviving the the terrible doll sheep es like escape. Oh my goodness, how scary was that, everyone? Like, for crying out loud, you guys, it's a sheep. 
<laughs> and if you guys could, do please leave a like for the wonders of our wolf wilds. And if you would like to join us on this, and yes, you guys are being going to be paying more money for my exhibit soon. Oh my goodness gracious. And if you, like, if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.